Hi Maker, I'm Angel with FleeceFun.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a fleece hat. This hat is it's just warm and fuzzy, it's just cozy. It's reversible and you can just have a nice cuff on it. There's, there's all kinds of different ways you can kind of manipulate this hat to suit yourself. But the nice part is, is that it's warm and it comes in sizes baby to adult. For this project you will need the following. For this project you will need a half a yard of fleece fabric, a half a yard of Sherpa fleece fabric, sewing essentials, pins, scissors, sewing machine, that sort of thing. Fleece Fun's free PDF pattern that's available by filling out the form at the end of the post. All right, now that you have all those items, it's time to get started. How to make a fleece hat for winter, step one, cut out the free fleece hat pattern. You'll first need to assemble the free PDF sewing pattern. Instructions on how to do that can be found on the YouTube channel. Decide on the size of double layer fleece beanie hat that you're going to make and cut to that line. Double up the fabric. You will need to cut out the exterior and the interior of the warm fleece hat. Make sure that the stretch of the fabric is going across the hat for a more comfortable fit. Make sure when you're cutting out the fabric that it is with the stretch. So you want it to stretch across your head, it'll fit better and it'll be a lot more comfortable with a hat. So before you cut it out, make sure to give the fabric a little tug, make sure that stretch is going across the pattern. Cut out the pattern. You should have two of the exterior of the fleece hat. Next, you'll need to cut out the interior of the hat from Sherpa fleece. I found it's easier to cut out the Sherpa fleece with its fluffy part touching and the smooth side, the wrong side, is facing out. Like the fleece, make sure that the hat is on the Sherpa so the stretch is going across the pattern. Pin the pattern down and make sure there are no lumps or folds in the fabric. Cut out the free fleece hat pattern again. You should have two of the interior hat pieces. Tip, while working with Sherpa fleece, it's a good idea to keep a lint roller handy to get any stray fuzzies on your work surface or on you. If you're going to use Sherpa fleece like this one or a minky or a faux fur, it's messy. <laughs> it feels wonderful. It is messy. So make sure that you have a lint roller handy just to kind of clean up all of that fuzziness. All right, now that we have that cut out, let's get to sewing. Step two, sew the sides together of the double layer hat. This hat is totally reversible, but for clarity's sake, I'll be referring to the hat pieces as the exterior, that's the plaid fabric in this example, and the interior, that's the Sherpa fabric. Now, especially when it comes to fleece, you want to make sure that you pin it because it can it can shift on you, especially when it's that thick kind of Sherpa fleece. So just pin it well so it won't shift under the needle. Let's start with the exterior of the hat. Pin right sides together. You can tell the right side of the fleece by gently tugging on the edge. The side that the fabric curls to is the right side. Using a half inch seam allowance, sew each side of the hat, that's the long curved side, to the point before it dips into a V. Be sure to leave the bottom, this will eventually become the cuff, open. All right, let's start with sewing the lining. Repeat the same process with the Sherpa interior of the hat. Quick tip, for a smoother hat, stop the seam a finger's width before the V. Hey maker, can you do me a really quick favor and just hit that like button? It's hard work putting together a pattern and then filming it and all that stuff. That little click from you goes a long way to helping out my channel. Really do appreciate it. Step three, sew the V or the top of the warm hat shut. Now that you've sewn the sides of the hat, it's time to close the top. The V refers to the dip in the top of the fleece hat. Let's start with the exterior piece. Take the bottom of each V on the top and bottom and pull so now the seams you just sewed are touching. Or fold the hat in half so the seams you just sewed are touching. Pin the V on each side closed. Sew one seam along the top of the hat, closing the V on both sides. This is similar to a boxed corner. This will make the rounded top. Okay, now we have to do the exact same thing to the other half of the hat. Repeat the same process with the Sherpa lining or interior of the hat. You now have two pieces that are ready to become one nice warm hat. All right, now it's time to bring them together and make them one. Step four, finish sewing the cuffed fleece hat. First, we're going to prep the hats to become one. Snip a few slits in the curves of the hat exterior and interior, being careful to not snip through the seams. This will help it lay nicely on the head. Then, trim any loose threads. 
Next, turn the Sherpa interior right side out. The seam should be on the inside and all the fuzzy goodness on the outside. Place the Sherpa hat inside the exterior hat so right sides are now touching. Line up the side seams. Make sure the interior is straight inside the exterior of the fleece hat. Using a half inch seam allowance, sew the two hats together around the bottom leaving a 3 inch gap for turning. Make sure that you leave enough of a turning gap so you can easily pull it out. It should just be a comfortable kind of squish through. If it's too thin, you can pop that seam while you're turning it, so be careful. Turn the hat right side out using the turning gap. Pull the hat all the way out to make sure it's completely turned. Then stuff the Sherpa lining into the hat. To sew that gap shut and to actually help the hat lay nicely so it doesn't look so blobby, we're going to sew one more seam. You can either top stitch along the edge of the hat to sew the gap shut and keep the cuff a little neater, or you can hand sew the gap shut with a ladder stitch. Up to you. Flip up the cuff and your warm fleece hat is ready for winter. The hat is completely reversible so you can wear it either side out. It's up to you. That's it, you have this great warm hat. You can flip it inside out if you want to and wear it the other direction. You can put two different colors on it. There's all kinds of fun different combinations you can do with this hat. And also what I love is that it is very nice and toasty warm. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome videos just like this one. And that's it. You have this great warm hat. It comes in sizes baby to adult, so everyone can have a nice warm hat for winter. And it is just one of those cute things. You can put all kinds of different fabric combinations together too. If you like this pattern, I have several more on fleecefun.com that I know you'll enjoy. Go check them out there. I have different kinds of hats there too. So if this isn't really the hat you're looking for, I bet you I got one on my site. Go check it out.